Let's do Murray's tutorial. Murray become like the guy who rhymes. Is that his thing now? Oh, I have to do this multiple times. Three times to be exact. Nintendo logic. Nice job. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch. You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy, kid stuff. Let's see what you got. Kids do love sucker punching and destroying things. Shadow Thief, welcome to stream. Good to see you. An easy way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep, throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. Let's go, boys. Rock to the face. And by the face, I mean your crotch. And done it. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. So, he's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you can use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat and pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. Let's do it, boys. All of your money belongs to me. Dibs. Ah, you get a prize. 32 bucks. Thanks for all that. Hello. Okay, Murray. <laughs> that was awkward pause. Powerful moves. You ready? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Yank them right out of the okay, air. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit no, I think I've got it, though. Triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. Is that right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain. Let's get it, boys. Come here, you stupid little cat freak. Got him. That's one. Hello there. You make two. Oh, I put him over here. I thought he'd be over on that side instead. Uh, I press circle. There we go. That makes three. Excellent work. Another handy move is your thunder flop. I think this is the last oh, yeah. thing we have to do for this. Terror from above. Just jump and press the square button to break this ground plate a few times. Let's do it. Thunder flop, go! Again! Again! I gotta hand it to you, Murray. He jumped through the laser grid and it did nothing to him. The heck is up with that? I think there are only two more. They might unlock like one or two more training things over here that I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure these are the last two training systems in the game and then we're done with the hazard room. So let's just go ahead and get them all done so we don't have to do them ever again. Bentley, 
Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. Is it? My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button, and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. Let's do it. By the way, for anyone who isn't aware, thinking like, man, this tutorial is pretty tedious, they only make you do the first two, and then you can skip all the others if you want. But I'm doing them for 100%, because they do count to the 100%. But how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god. All fall before me. I'm sorry? Let's see what you got. Later, nerd. Nice knowing you. Murphy, welcome to stream. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too. My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. Done. And to shoot, I press the R1. Nice. He's done it. Now get over there and bomb him before he wakes up. Ninety night. All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything. Bentley really out here trying to claim he's got nerves of steel. I don't know about all that. Later, nerd. That chair's pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh, yeah. It's my own design. The pickpocket pull, or the PPP for short. Do not call it that. With a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot. Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. What does the circle button do when you're playing as Bentley? Nothing? I wonder why they have the fishing pole magnet set to L1 instead of just setting it to circle the same way that uh, Sly and Murray pickpocket. If the circle button doesn't do anything else for Bentley. I get a prize. Okay. He served Killed that guy off screen. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. Probably easier to hold L1 than the circle button. Uh, I disagree. It's literally the exact same difficulty. And having it set to L1 takes away one of Bentley's gadgets. Because L1, L2, and R2 are the gadget buttons. That chair of yours is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. Job complete, boys. All right. I think this is the last one, so let's just go ahead and get it done. As you know, we sometimes need reconnaissance photographs. Oh, it's the, the photographing one. Uh, no. Full recon photo. The we'll put that chair up there. Hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocular with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell All you, right. Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where Yeah, yeah, I know how to use the binocular. The right analog stick lets you zoom. Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, why can I not normally jump that high? Can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Should just have a uh, Sly give up being a criminal and become a master photographer. Hey, come back over here. Smile for the camera, if you don't mind. What a terrible shot. 
There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. <laughs> Lovely. High art. Seriously? No, but you showed some real skill with a Vodokyukov's camera. Nice work. Oh, is that it? Are we done? Oh, the dream. We're all finished. Let's get going on our next operation. All right, I think all of the... Uh... I think all of the hazard room stuff is done. I'm pretty sure we don't ever have to do it again, thankfully. So let's go on to the next main mission. That only took like 10 minutes to get that all knocked out. That's not too bad. No more hazard room for us, hopefully. Flight of Fancy. Bentley was obsessed. Every night, he'd pore over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss. The Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. Photoshop genius. <laughs> Sly Cooper and the gang in Flight of Fancy. Bentley and Penelope are so good at Photoshopping. Both of their online profile pics were Completely on point. Couldn't tell at all. Ah, yes, we've made it to Holland. Kinderjik. Probably butchered that. Hey, babe, how's it going? A man with a nearly 250 IQ fails at this master Photoshop. Oh, the bridges! I remember these bridges, turning them on and off all the time. I love seeing everyone jumping around the area before you get into it. That's so much fun. Look at all this cheese just lying around that's so bouncy. All right, boys. How are we looking on ThiefNet? More stuff available now, I assume? The insanity strike and the guttural roar. Oh, push of attack level two. Want that. I also want rocket boots. Give me rocket boots right now. By the way, 69 up there. Very nice. Give me the rocket boots right now. We've got so much purchasing to do. Let's go, boys.
succeed in this year's Aces competition, we'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret, and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfight. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout him out somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Love it. Gotta go talk to my boy, Dimitri. One of the things I love about Sly 3 is bringing back older characters. Not just Dimitri. We're gonna see another character is brought back uh, from back in the olden days. There's Dimitri, my boy. We'll be seeing that character in a little while. But first, we gotta talk to my man here. What's up? Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? In bold. Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. I don't remember which one of these is the right option. I want to do the wrong ones first. I'm pretty sure threat and violence is wrong. Listen, pal. We both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True that, raccoon. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start a fight in hotel, and disqualification will be yours. <laughs> you want that, Jack? Did he just call me a soft sock? I don't remember which one of these is right and which one is wrong. I think threatening to expose him is right, so I'm going to try and use a logical argument first. We both know you're going to tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk, so spill it. But to talk is like sitting on a electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is big. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down a little. Dang it, that was the right one. My bad. Uh, I think promising to protect him is the right answer here. So I'm going to compliment him first, because Dimitri's a cool dude. He deserves to be complimented. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like... Will you water my fish or feed my plants? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor. Like movies. Big time. I picked the right one again by mistake. Dang it. Oh well. If you want to see all the dialogue options, you'll just have to play the game yourselves, chat. This guy's a real nut job. Not sure I want to owe him. I could agree, refuse, or bribe him. Okay, so agreeing to the favor I know for certain is the right answer. Because I know that episode 5 centers around the fact that you agree to help Dimitri. So, do the other two first. Offer him a bribe. Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Yeah, she won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not federal reserve. 
That's fair. Refuse. No dice. I'm not in the habit of racking up debts, and I don't plan on starting now. No dice, no debt, no aces flight lineup. The choice is yours. Take debt and take flight roster. Otherwise, take away nothing. Okay, Dimitri. Book me up with a flight roster, and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. Hm. Stand cool. Here comes big cheese.